Hello, everybody. Snow in the forecast as we go through today and by tonight and into Saturday, another Alberta Clipper will be making its way through your hour by hour forecast for the big deer gun opener right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Hour by hour style forecast number one heading into the morning hours. There'll be mixed rain and snow working its way through. North winds taking hold out to the west here. Not so windy, but it does increase as we go towards your daybreak hour. Sorry about that. Let's go right back to that radar and put it into motion. Now, as we go through, the future radar shows a mixed precipitation moving through the Red River Valley as we get our day started. This could cause a little dusting on light air, uh, grassy areas, light amounts, not anticipating too much, but overnight, some accumulation quite possible in the arrowhead of minnesota heading into the afternoon it clears out so the deer gun opener pretty good but it will be a little soggy and maybe just a smattering of some light snow showers out there you can see the onset of clipper 2 making its way in after a pretty quiet although cool day with north winds here comes by the nighttime hours moving out of northwest parts of um, North Dakota, this system will travel to the south and east as we go through the overnight. By 10 o'clock, we could see some Bismarck to Minot showers of snow that wind through, mixing with rain showers as these temperatures will create a complicated setup here. And then heading into the morning hours on Saturday, the deer gun opener in Minnesota could be compromised in the far southern part, I-29 corridor of South Dakota and the I-90 corridor of Minnesota, seeing some heavier snow showers potentially. And we could have this persistent band of snow and wind easterly wind here across north dakota in the morning hours on saturday with northerly winds out west in the park as we go through the afternoon hours this system works its way to the south fargo just clipped by it it could get hit it could be missed completely more than likely thanks to our lower elevation we won't see significant amounts of accumulation here let's get to your accumulation forecast first here you go as we go through the uh 24 hour period here today and into tomorrow the a majority of the accumulating snow will be in the Arrowhead of Minnesota. Then as we go through your uh, Saturday morning, this system could leave areas with one inch of snow likely in the blue, but we'll see some spots with three inches. This could shift either way still. Most models have shifted it back into central North Dakota, and that puts... Fargo, Moorhead, and likely Richland County, a Gwinter area, Lisbon area, more in the track of this main swath of snow, and it's taking Bismarck out of it for now. This is going to go back and forth over the next couple of days, and to truth be told, we won't know until the storm develops and the radar starts showing where the heavier band sets up. Lighter snow amounts in Minnesota, but likely not zero, as we'll see a dash on Thursday, and possibly isolated flurries on your day on Saturday afternoon. Southern Minnesota could be a different story there. For your out the door temperatures, expect the 30s out there. North winds increasing in the valley with snow moving from north to south. Could coat the roads with a little layer of icy, so give yourself some extra time in places. Falling temperatures by 4 o'clock. We're on our way down into the 30s where we'll stay after seeing highs only in the 40s today. And we're going to expect that north wind be gusting at 26 miles per hour. Here's the onset of Clipper 2 that will set this way and move to the south and to the east as we go into your Saturday. The best chance of snow in Fargo, by the way, increasing in and around the midday hour the way it looks right now. Seven-day forecast shows colder weather as we have falling temperatures through Friday afternoon, 20 Saturday morning, barely climbing out of the 20s. And we'll have some of our coldest mornings in Fargo. 14 degrees on Monday morning. Many areas could see single-digit morning temperatures out in western North Dakota, and you've heard that here from me throughout the week. Temperatures climbing back, though, as we go in toward the middle of the month of November. Unbelievable. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll have updates right here. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's Weather Anywhere